The way that the major change happens through the court system is usually with class actions. Things don't change because you want them to change, and things don't change because what currently exists is unfair. It changes because people take action. Taking action for half a century brings us to today. Female leaders, past and present, providing perspective to the importance of Title IX and the impact it's had on UK athletics. Softball, soccer, uh, women's programs added in the last 20 years. Uh, men's soccer added also. So Title IX does not say you can't add opportunities for men. It says you must add opportunities for the underrepresented sex. UK leaders hold Title IX close to a more recent school program. For the last four years, the Active Women's Health Initiative, promoting health for girls and women of all ages by tackling obstacles such as physical activity promotion and injury prevention. Just to be active as a Kentuckian, uh, that's important to plant that seed, and so that's what our Active Women's Health Initiative does. And then if we become an athlete, that's even better. And so this Title IX allows us as girls to know that we can get scholarships um, in certain sports. I made them explain to her why she is not as important as a male counterpart. Most social movements and social change happens in waves. It's anniversaries like this that give us an opportunity to look at where have we arrived, what has changed, and what work still needs to be done. Riding a wave 50 years in the making to make sure all of this progress doesn't get washed away. In Lexington, Evan Leak, LEX 18 News.